heat and its effects. In the beginning of the 19th century, Count Rumford and James Prescott established that heat is a form of energy known as thermal energy. When a solid, a liquid or a gas is heated, its molecules gain energy and start moving faster. The more we heat a substance, the faster its molecules move. Heat energy is, therefore, the energy of movement of molecules. When we heat a substance, the movement of its molecules increases. This increases the average distance between the molecules. Therefore, the space occupied by the molecules, that is, the volume of the substance, increases. We say that heat causes expansion. Expansion in solids In a ring and ball apparatus, the apparatus consists of a metal ring and a metal ball. At normal temperature, the ball passes through the ring. Now, heat the ball and try to pass it through the ring. It will not pass through. The ball has expanded on heating. Cool the ball to normal temperature. It will pass through the ring again. Expansion in liquids The molecules of a liquid are not so firmly bound to each other as in a solid. Therefore, on heating, their vibrations increase more than the vibrations of molecules of solids. The result is that liquids expand more than solids on heating. Fill a flask up to the brim with water. Take a rubber cork with a hole in it and insert a narrow tube into the hole. Fix the cork firmly in the mouth of the flask. The liquid will rise a little in the tube. Note the level of the liquid. Heat the liquid. The level of the liquid in the tube goes down a little and then starts rising. It goes down initially as the flask gets heated first and expands. When the heat reaches the liquid, it expands and its level in the tube goes up. Cool the liquid to normal temperature. The level will go down again. Expansion in gases. On heating a gas, the vibrations of its molecules increases. Since the molecules are not bound to each other at all, the average distance between the molecules increases considerably. Hence, the expansion will be more in case of gases than in liquids or solids. Thus, gases expand more than liquids and solids on being heated. Fix the flask to a stand in an upside-down position over a beaker of water, so that the glass tube dips inside the water. Heat the flask at the top. As the air in the flask expands, it escapes out of the flask through the tube into the beaker containing water. Bubbles of air can be seen in the water. Cool the flask. As the air inside the flask contracts, the water rises up the tube. This shows that gases expand on heating and contract on cooling. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.